The management myth I chose to represent is that you can't be fair if you want to keep your top people. It starts off at Breen's, a gourmet meal prepping business, and Breen's opened up less than four months ago, but since it opened up, the general manager named Chris is having a hard time finding capable zombie employees who don't snack on the job. His trouble with employees in the past has made um, Chris a callous and strict uh, general manager with his employees. Stavos is the longest kept employee at uh, Brains and because of this he believes that he has served as a, a su sufficient leader and thinks that he should be promoted to a management position alongside Chris. So one day Stavos asks Chris for a promotion but Chris is hesitant to promote him and believes that Stavos it serves better as a role model in the meal prepping industry alongside his, the newer employees. Word gets out about Stavos asking about Stavos asking Chris for a promotion and it is mistaken by other employees that there is an open management position at Brains. As word spreads, more zombies, more zombie meal prepping employees start to reach out to Chris hoping that they can demonstrate their skills. Chris feels overwhelmed by their outreach and lashes out to those employees and starts doing so by scheduling them less often. Kilson, Kilson Hunter and Olivia are among those scheduled less, uh, less often and they become bitter about the topic and start plotting against Chris. The plotting starts by stealing brains and eating on the job and trying to sell them to make money on the side. One day, Stavos walks in on the employees stealing the merchandise and is lured into the option of working alongside with them in order to make money off the profits because Stavos has also been punished by Chris in getting less hours and therefore less paycheck. Chris is faced with the option of Chris is faced with the option of whistleblowing on his co-workers and possibly losing their trust or gaining more trust from Chris and possibly being promoted into a management position. So Stavos decides that it's probably best to inform his boss about it and because of this ends up getting a promotion. The co-workers of Stavos do get fired but because of the trust that Chris has now established with Stavos he realizes that his management um, his management techniques and skills are better demonstrated and executed in a positive way and that he realizes that he was very harsh and cruel to his employees and that as a manager he needs to learn to be more flexible and executing things in a more relatable way.